Hey guys, Mike the Mathman here. And in this video, I wanted to give some general advice on how to avoid phishing email scams like the one you see in front of you. I got this this morning and um, I thought it was from Apple. It says service at appleid.com. And I was like, okay, what does this mean? And then I read the subject and it says your recent or your receipt purchase confirmation. So I opened the email and I see $74.48 that has been charged to some sort of credit card. And I was like, okay, great start to the day. And so I, I actually panicked. I, I get these all the time, but this is the first one that I, I, in a while that I remember actually like physically starting to panic. I'm like, holy cow, somebody's got my credit card information. Now, when I received this email, it was not on, I was not on my computer. I was on my phone. So I couldn't see this email address right here that this email is actually coming from, but it is not an Apple email address. And this is, this is like my number one tip for you guys to avoid scams like this. If you see something from a sender that looks familiar, like Apple, look at the actual email that the look at the actual email address that the email came from. So if you get a bill from Amazon or Apple or anywhere else and you haven't ordered anything from there, look at the actual email address that the email came from. And if it's something weird like this one, koi two three one at stringmails.com or something something weird like that, it's it's not legit. It's just some phishing scam. That's my number one piece of advice to avoid falling for these things. Now, in this particular case, this is one that, you know, is trying to to uh, kind of look like an email from Apple. And they've done a very good job. I haven't seen one that's looked this good, I don't think, ever. Which is why I originally started to panic. But if you notice, for one thing, this says tax invoice. And... With Apple's invoices, they, I mean, nothing ever says tax on it. I don't remember. Like, I've ordered a few things from the App Store. I've never gotten a bill that says tax invoice. It's always like your receipt from Apple and then, you know, the confirmation number or something like that. So that's one thing that's off with this email. Another thing that's off is all of these links, visit iTunes support link, manage your password preferences link, Apple ID summary, terms of sale, privacy policy, etc. Every single one of these goes to the same place, and that's help.applses.com, every single one. Now, if this was a legit email, all of these links would go somewhere else. They would go to the specific terms of sale page, the specific privacy policy page, specific Apple ID summary page, you know, whatever. I don't even think Apple has an ID summary page, but um, yeah, all of these go to the same address. Now, if we open this, nothing happens. Server not found. So I'm, I'm assuming whoever sent this has already, you know, been taken down or whatever. So if you're not on a computer and you, uh, you know, you can't access the actual email up here as easily, like it's not as easily visible, what you could do on an iPhone or an iPad is this. Open the email. We have got the email right here. What you can do is click on the from address. See, this is just the name. This is just the name of the sender. This is not the actual email address. It's disguised to look like an actual email address, but it's not. Click on it and it will bring up a separate page and we see the actual email address right here. Koi231 at stringmails.com. So that's how you can determine the actual email address of a sender on your phone, on your iPhone at least. And in terms of these links down here, we'll click on this one. If you just click and hold, it'll bring up this list of options from, from the bottom of the screen. At the very top above open, it will have the address, help.applses.com. And again, that has nothing to do with an actual Apple, you know, address. It's just a website that these guys have created that they want you to go to so you can type in your actual information and then they can log in to Apple Store and get all of your information. That's what's going on. Another thing I noticed, the Apple logo down here is not centered. And I didn't notice that until a couple of hours after I got the email, but that is something that would never fly with a legit Apple email. They would never, they would never tolerate something that's so unsymmetrical, in my opinion. So these, you know, quote, Apple phishing schemes have been making their rounds around the internet for for a while now. And um, the last thing I'll mention about it, I was, I was on the phone with Apple earlier today, and the actual email address, if you do purchase something from Apple, the actual email address, from what uh, the kind lady told me on the phone, that these receipts come from is no underscore reply at email.apple.com no underscore reply at email.apple.com so that is the actual email address that these receipts will be coming from from a legit apple receipt 
So if you get a receipt for something that you didn't pay for from what looks to be a known sender, a sender you're familiar with, double check the actual email address. And if it's some weird thing, then it's just spam, some sort of phishing scheme, and don't click anything. Just you know, put it in your junk folder or whatever. I hope this helps, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.